we're now going to show you how you can monitor your production applications using LingSmith. And this project here called Chatlink Chain and LingSmith is observing or monitoring all the traces that are coming through a production application that we have live called Chatlink Chain. And what Chatlink Chain is, is it's a way that you can ask questions of the Link Chain documentation. So if I ask, what is LCEL, Link Chain Expression Language, I can ask a question and get a response back from this application. And all of these traces are getting logged to LingSmith. And similarly to how we described it uh, in, in other sessions, LingSmith, again, as a reminder, isn't hosting this link chain application code, it's just getting all of the traces because we've set the appropriate environment variables to send the traces to chat link chain in LingSmith. And so we go over to the monitoring tab, we can start to see some information about how this application is performing over a different period of time. And so average user score, this is an API that we've actually set up so that if you give a thumbs up or a thumbs down as a user, that then gets recorded. Uh, we saw it come uh, in right here as uh, linked to that particular trace. And if I clicked through, you would see the trace or the question that I just asked around what is LCEL. But this page is really helpful because it shows a lot of really Im interesting information about how your application is performing in the wild. So you can either rest assured that things are going smoothly or take action as needed. So let's take a look at what we show on the monitoring page. First thing is really around volume. So we show things like trace count and LLM count, just a, a visibility into how active your application is. You can also show success rates, both again at the trace level and the LLM level. We show latency, so you can see if things are pretty stable or if they're trending up, like we saw a spike here where it took quite a bit of time for our LLM to get a response. Maybe it was a problem with uh, our API or the OpenAI API. We also can see the number of calls to an LLM per trace. It's pretty bounded, which is a good thing. Uh, each question is making between one and three calls to an LLM. And we have some measures around tokens per second, so how quickly the responses are coming back, and also some measures on total tokens uh, as well as some streaming metrics on how fast uh, is the very first token streaming back to the user so the user feels taken care of. Um, so you can see in the app, just to show it one more time, but we're waiting, 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 and then the first token shows up on the screen. So it's a measure for how long it takes for the very first token to stream back and then the user feels taken care of. So this is a pretty helpful measure as well. And we can see that all getting reported in real time. This view is really helpful because if you have a, a challenge or a problem and we can see uh, we did have some uh, clearly uh, cha some challenges uh, in this application. We had a, a few traces that failed can click in and get to see the exact run that it failed at. Uh, and you get full visibility. So remember, we got a question in from a user. I want to bind these functions to an open AI model. Uh, there was already some chat history. And we can see that there is an error here. And if I dig in, you know, I can I can see that we actually had a context window issue. So this was a really helpful way to, one, see that we, we don't run on against this challenge often, um, but occasionally we do, and maybe I want to test for that case uh, in my code more or somehow guard against it 
uh, to make it more reliable. Uh, we also make it pretty easy for you to add evaluation on production runs. And so we will add the feedback uh, in aggregate up top. Uh, but generally, this is a really useful way to gain confidence that your application is humming along or when you have an issue, dig in and figure out why.